Hello fellow Diecasters, welcome to another insane episode here on Diecast Insanity. Hope you guys have been doing well, um, hope you've been out doing some hunting and just staying healthy and everything and, and you know making a few, maybe making a few Diecast friends here and there and, and having fun and everything. So got another haul for video for you guys for this week. Um, found three very cool premium cars uh, over the week. So uh, let me get set up and uh, we'll take a look at what I found. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the single car. So it kind of tells you guys maybe of what I found, but I found the new Porsche 962 from the Entertainment Series in this very, very cool um, uh, Rothman's uh, Tribute paint scheme. This is a very cool car. This is a very famous car um, from Le Mans, for that matter. Um, this is the car that would have won, I believe it was the same car, that won in 84 and 80, or no, 86 and 87 at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. Very, very cool. Instead of saying uh, racing here, it would have said Rothman's Porsche, um, and then it would have said Rothman's there and on the back wing. So basically wherever it says racing on this car, it would have said Rothman's. So very, very cool. Um, it's a very reminiscent of this paint scheme of the 959, which is also a Rothmans tribute paint scheme from the Paris Dakar Rally. So very, very cool to have these two cars. Um, let's get this bad boy open here. Get it on the turntable, take a look at it. I was hoping to pick this one up. I went to my Walmart because um, I needed to pick up a couple of things and I'm like oh um, one of my friends said that they had some cars in so and this was like two days after I talked to him and I still went down there and they still had them so it was very very cool to pick all three of these up I got all three of these at my local Walmart so it was nice to get all of them there so it's going to be really really cool I have all four editions now of the 962 and I actually have a total of five because I have a, a custom that I did, that I've shown you guys of the uh, uh, Jägermeister Porsche that I did. So, may have to do some pictures of this, put them in the in the community page or something of all four cars. But really, really cool. This one's going in the Curio. Um, it'll take the place of the Gretti car because this is an actual winning paint scheme. So it's going to go into the Lamar ring there. So very, very cool there. So let's take a look at the next two that I got. These are both Car Culture Team Transporter. It was very, very cool to pick these up. Very surprised that they still had these. Really, really sweet. Picked up the first one we'll pick up is the Custom Corvette Stingray Coupe with the Fleet Flyer. Very nice. Very cool looking set here. Um, this will be the third Fleet Flyer. Um, in my collection. I have the Momo Porsche Fleet Flyer and the BRE Datsun Fleet Flyer. So let's get these bad boys out. We'll put the truck on here first. Take a look at this really cool truck. Just like, just like all the others. All the other Fleet Flyers. Nicely blue with the white with the uh, blue stripe and the Corvette and Goodyear. Very, very simple. Yeah, do that there. Very, very simple uh, paint scheme, but very, very cool. Riding on the Steelies, which I think all, all three versions of this that I have all have Steelies. I don't think they've ever changed the wheels on this truck. I think it's always been the Steelies. So very, very cool there. And of course, the brand new, uh, I believe this is for 2020. Where's the date on this thing? But I believe this is 2020. I think this is the one that was in red that was in the um, Fast and the Furious premium set. But this one, I think this one is even cooler. Really, really sweet old time paint scheme. 60s style racing paint scheme, number 65 on the car, which I believe this is a 65 vet. Because the 63 was, or 62 was a split window. 
63, 64, and 65, I think, were all the same body style. So, very cool. Really sweet car. I think the Hot Wheels has done a great job with this car. This one looks beautiful. So, very cool to have that in the collection. Not quite sure if these two are going to be together or if I'm going to have to separate them to display them or what. But still, very cool. And then the other one I picked up was the 69 Dodge Dart with the brand new Horizon Hauler. Really cool looking. Another drag car. Very, very sweet. It's really nice for them to do the, the, uh, the Dodge. So I have, a, I have at least one of every... Uh, every one of the haulers now, including the newest ones, which would have been the, the Ford, the, the, the Ford hauler, the uh, covered van hauler from the one that has the Mercedes from the IWC Racing one. So let's take a look at this new truck. Really, really cool. Not sure what this is designed after. I believe it's designed after a Dodge. Might have to do some research on that. But um, the only thing that make this even cooler if it had ramps on it would be really, really sweet. But very, very nice truck. Riding on the white Steelies is Mariposa Speed Shop, El Segundo, California. I'm a, that's probably just a truck numbered 20, 20, 2031. It's got several different spots back here for tire stops, so you can put multi different length cars in this hauler. So, very, very cool. Very sweet hauler. And then, of course, we've got the. Is this a 69? I don't think it says on here. This first came out in 2010. We got a. There we go. That's some tires off here on the back side. There we go. But still very, very cool car. Very nice. I love the Dodge Dart. It's a cool looking car. I love the wheel choice on this one. Very, very nice. Very cool. This pink swinging thing with the Mariposa speed shop on the back quarter back there i was El Segundo down below dodge goodyear um a couple others of like b&m a uh, holly hearst i can't tell what that square other square one is there but really nice car so i was glad that i picked these up i was surprised they still had them after um after i picked these up after i got talked to mark my best friend who's also a hot wheel collector one of my slot car friends and he said they had them in and I went back two days later and they still had them so I was surprised that they did I thought they'd be all gone by the time I went back to get them but still very nice so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul I hope you've been able to find these cars too because they are very very nice cars very sweet um finally glad I got them open and we'll be able to display I'm not quite sure where they're going yet but I'll figure that out later I know where the Porsche is going but the other ones I'm not quite sure yet I'll find a spot for them so um, hope you guys have a great week. Um, don't for, also, don't forget to check out the last haul video that was went up on Thursday. Um, also, check out um, the uh, video for the 2020 um, Let's Talk Car Culture video that will be uploaded here soon as well. So, check that out. And then, don't forget to check out all the other videos and everything. Uh, I'm going to do some 3 for Thursdays tomorrow. Get them done and uploaded and everything and, and scheduled. And uh, just keep on rocking. Remember, so I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Hope you found what you're looking for. And remember, leave some on the pegs for the collectors in your area because they like to find these cars too. And continue to have fun with the hobby because that's what it's all about. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye.